Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Sunday, the 2nd of April 2023. I'm looking at this Kits Concept Monster Hunter World 118 scale action figure. This is Hunter, or a Hunter, no specific name. It's one of the uh, characters from the game from Capcom, which I played many years ago on PSP. Uh, this appears on the back to be an actual shot of the toy because there's a figure base you can see on the feet there which does look pretty cool so it's 118 scale 4.25 inches so it's quite big uh, 15 movable articulations nice English kids concept want to ask me and I'll help correct it for you high quality decoration sounds a bit strange again three pairs of hands for different poses three interchangeable faces that's quite cool weapons display a stand what else we've got? Made in China, got that. This is not a toy. Woo. Um, a designer, Cyrus Chiang. Pretty cool. On the back, on the side, sorry, just tells us again. Not a lot. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to open this up and get cracking on this review. If you like sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of the screen now. You can see all the reviews early. No waiting around one week, two weeks, two months sometimes to see stuff. Seriously, sometimes it's two months because I've got a lot of stuff in the queue to be published on YouTube and sometimes things jump the queue. Okay, so let me uh, get this opened and let's get into this back in an instant. Okay, here he is. And I will not lie, get him to hold that great big sword and that pose was a devil's own job. That was not easy. I bet he's there. He looks great. He's a big boy. He's going to be bigger than most of other 118 scale figures. You know, but he's four point, whatever was it? 4.25 inches, so four and a quarter inches. So he's large. That big sword looks great, but it's way too big. Well, in the game, it's big, but it's just way too heavy, I should say, for the stiffness of his joints. It just overbalances him. He needs to have really heavy feet, really, to stand up nicely. Okay, let's get a look at the accessories. So he does come with this nice looking shield here. Let's get a focus. Bit small compared to everything else, but still pretty nice. Part for the forearm to go in and a handle to hold on to. Comes this other more manageable side blade, size blade, which does look really good. Nice paintwork on that. I do like that a lot. It comes with the alternate faces, or say faces, actually heads. Two of them here. Let's see if we can get a clear looking at they are actually pretty yeah let's try and grip them nicely there we go they're actually pretty nice looking sculpts as well pretty cool and he comes with alternate hands so i have swapped uh both hands over he comes with default fist hands like this like this like this fists he also comes with two gripping wide gripping hands like this and he's now got in in the closed gripping hands like this so he can actually hold on to handles he also comes with his display stand like thus let's get a focus going on and you get the part to plug in and the part to hold him he also comes with this is the default handle for the sword which i've swapped around to give the longer part of the bottom for him to hold on to this is a default one and he comes with this, and I have no idea what this little thing is for at the moment. I thought it's for his back to plug into for something, but it's not from what I can tell. It's not for his feet. Maybe that will become more apparent to me as the review comes on. If you know, you can just say so in the comments. Here's a nice looking figure, and speaking of that, let's get a close look. I'm going to de-sword him first, actually, and show you that sword. Way too heavy. They should have done this hollow inside. But it's a nice, huge sword. That will work on my, uh, on my big orcs, I think. And to change the handle over, you saw over here, it's just a take-off part here. Then you can pull off there. And go back to the default. You're going to plug. And then when you get it in, you're going to turn and push in and change. But that, there's no lower part, so it's really hard for him to hold that. With one hand, it just drops down because of the weight. Okay, let's get a close look at him. So very nice looking figure. I do like this. Just wish it was just four. It's not four point two five. Four point two five. Now, one thing I would suggest. I haven't done it, but I might do it. Is this head part, which comes off to change over the heads. This is in two pieces. I would suggest probably gluing that into place because it keeps sort of coming off. 
don't glue it onto the head, just glue it the two halves together, and then once it's dried, you can just put it on and off as you please. Now, having said that, I haven't done it with any other heads yet, so I might be doing porcupines. Okay, and this is on a little bit of articulation. We'll look at that in a second. Great sculpt and great looking paint outs on this figure. And this is that sort of um, what's that? I can't think of the name of the material. Now that very very bendy, like almost like a soft vinyl. Disappointingly, this knife does not come out, which is a shame. That would have been fantastic if it did, but. Looks good. Nothing on the feet to plug anything into, only the back to plug something into there. And it's only one hole, or is it two? One that I can see. I would be tempted to remove this sort of cape thing, maybe. Okay, let's have a look at articulation. You might fall apart my hand, so head. Left and right barely because of the sculpt up and down their rears. There's not really side to side, but there is head articulation. Shoulder, the pauldron is on a little joint you can see there, and that will pop out like thus. If I keep it in, this arm to the side will get 90 degrees. Going round, everything's going to be in the way. He can go round, and this arm will be 90 degrees pretty much too. Bicep bend, he gets under 90, but it's close. Close, but no cigar. This one's even less, which is a bit of a shame. Hands, he's got a gun articulation on this one and wave articulation on this one. So his right hand does this. And he can turn on the joint. His left hand should do a wave. Now what's disappointing is you do get paint rub on the joints. So if I keep articulating that, you can see already the paint is rubbed off on the joint there, which is like, come on, this is an expensive figure, man. I don't paint rub to come straight away. There is a trunk at the top here where you can turn. Small dip, not really a side to side. You can probably hear my wife laughing in the background just then. And that's just covering her face. Um, waist, nothing that I can see. Hips to the side, not far. The sculpting sort of gets in the way and doesn't really hold it well. A bit loose. Forward, sculpt gets in the way. Backwards, it's not bad I guess altogether. Forwards and backwards, it's, you know, I've seen better, but it's not bad. There is a five turn, which is nice. Uh, it's a single kneecap, but it does get nearly 90 degrees. There is a dorsiflexation, and there is a Michael Jackson tee -hee, tippy toe on the ankles. There is a swivel, but there's no boot turn. Not bad, the articulation's, you know, it's acceptable, especially for a nice looking figure, but some things I just wish were a bit better. I think I'll be using them, as I said, with this uh, small sword here. I think this can look so much better having that. Yeah. Or get another one for them. Then this shield here is a bit of a conundrum because that there appears to be fixed to his arm. So you might have to have him, and that's fixed to the forearm, as far as I can make out. You might have to have him holding the sword in his left hand and the shield in the right, since they fixed it on, which is a bit of a shame, you know. So let's have a see. If, let's have a quick try. See. There we go. Let's get a focus. He does look good. Let's go through. Uh, let's go for size. So, trusty tape measure, and he is in cm. We can see that he is at eleven and a half, approaching twelve cm. So he is not a small chap. So let's get a comparison with some other figures. In fact, I'll zoom out a little bit for this, just to get a. Uh, idea of how you scale with your other figures. First I will use something that you won't work well with because it's a different genre. I use the body one in Victor Warsuit Pilot from Joy Toy Warhammer 40k line. He's a big figure but you can see that this guy is big too, almost as tall as the Invicta Warsuit Pilot. So now you get an idea of how big he actually is. Now does this look at um, some of his 
genre contemporary. So I'll use a tall one first. Um, is it Nelia? I think this is a Roblox one that I reviewed the other day. Be linking the top right for you. And they work okay because she's actually quite a big figure. Not too bad. Okay, now let's use um, the go to for fantasy for 118 scale. So that's obviously going to be the uh, boss fight studios. I've got a Sigurd the Wanderer here. Now he's looking a bit like a big bloke. Still works well. And then lastly, I will use my uh, custom Fortnite Knight 2. I'm going to, as I keep saying in every single video I use him in, I'm going to paint eventually and finish him. I just think he looks fantastic. Just needs to be painted. And see that. Ah! He towers above my Fortnite custom knight here. But again, could work in the same universe. Yeah, I think actually, I think even though he's a big boy, that does work. You're going to have a band of a wanderers, a band of adventurers. be pretty cool having this sort of really sort of tall, lanky guy in there as well. Let's push his pauldron down a little bit. Give a bit more variety to your, to your group. Good figure, I like it. Um, some things a bit too fiddly, but other than that, I think he's a pretty fantastic figure. Okay, this is All Smash Toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, subscribe, consider joining the Patreon. Link in the video description below. You can also find discount links for some various different shops so you can get your stuff from them if you want. And I'll see you in the next video coming soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.